Violin World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 179 Sacrificial Pegasus. Ah! Starlight gasped under her breath, bumping into Maple as she scrambled backwards. Her hornlit teal, revealing the presence of a scrawny Pegasus with bulging saddlebags who shared their hiding spot, and revealing Valet's presence to him. His eyes constricted. Uh, boss? Who do what now? Valet blinked. Do I know you? The Pegasus swiftly backpedaled, keeping his voice to an urgent hiss. Eh, uh, nope. Look, just shove off, will you? I'm out risking life and limb here, and I swear if you eat all my earnings... Hold on, Valet mused, scratching her fuzzy chin. I do know you. Weren't you one of those chumps that got to camp the gate yesterday morning? Complained a lot. Mad about me eating all the fruit. The Pegasus deflated. Yes, he huffed. And I'm off duty right now, so what I do in this district is presently none of your business. Mad feather, right? Valet squinted, pointing a hoof. And that's too bad. Showing some initiative, stealing your own fruit. That's what you got in the bags, right? If you were on the clock, I might have been able to give you a bonus. Tar feather. I don't have any idea who he is either, Maple interrupted. But hush, you're going to attract that guard. And Starlight, put your light out. Starlight instantly obeyed, sticking close to Maple's side. Valet, however, grinned. You say that like it's a bad thing. Of course it's a bad thing, Tarfever hissed. All I wanted was to stock the gate up in case you came back tonight like the schedule said you were going to do last night and didn't, and got locked in here when the place closed. He hefted to saddle back. Especially if you're off having fun with some other ponies, I don't even see the point. I might as well ditch these on you now and go take a day off. Valet licked her lips. Eh, yeah, technically you're an Earth District vigilante, not a real member of the Defense Force. But hey, don't quit the party before it started. I'm, uh... I'm still trying to place you in my memory, though. Well, stuff it, Torfever growled, throwing down his saddlebags. The straps on one side burst and several bunches of bananas came spilling out. This is your problem now. I remember, Valet suddenly said, eyes lighting up. You're the one that really loved mangoes, aren't you? Torfever's lips slowly curled into a teeth-bearing frown, and he pointed down at the discarded saddlebag. I like bananas. Valet shrugged, grinning stupidly. Hey, good luck with that, Mango Guy. There's a reason most mares swing both ways. Any semblance of stealth was lost as Tarfever's eyes bulged, the Pegasus barely resisting the urge to slam his head against the ground. Okay, he groaned without looking. I'm done. These are your problems now, and so is watching the border and everything else. I quit. Have fun doing everything on your clang. He stopped dead in his tracks, halfway in and halfway out of the entrance to the main loading depot, wings already spread to take flight, and pitched forward in an unseemly heap, revealing a mare beyond with a pipe wrench grasped in two wings and an expression of pleased disbelief on her face. I, I got it, she murmured, tone growing stronger with time. I got it. I took down an outlaw. I, her eyes found Valet and she paled in recognition. Oh, no. Valet gave a cheerful wave. Y you're the Defense Force Commander, Green Wave stammered, a wrench slipping limply from a grasp. You were helping him? Look, please, I don't have anything against you. I only volunteered for this because I wanted some community service for my resume because I'm trying to apply to work at the Skyport and move up. I don't want to get stuck in any sort of district wars, really. Great teamwork, huh? Valet chirped, Maple and Starlight watching her, transfixed. What? Greenwave's brow furrowed. Valet belched. Something about a, a, a two-prong attack? One side flushes him out, the other does the catching. She hefted Tarfeather's fruit-filled saddlebags with a wing and offered them to the Pegasus. I say it worked pretty well. Stolly's gaze drifted slowly to the unconscious Tarfeather. Was Valet throwing him under the cart as a bargaining chip? To try to get the patrol to let them use the tunnel she had mentioned earlier? Wait a minute. Greenwave's brow furrowed. You were helping us? Helping you, Valet corrected, shrugging. And one-upping that boss dude of yours by beating him to his own plan. You know, what's his name? The one with the edgy hat? non sequitur, Greenwave offered. And I'm Greenwave, but you're Valet. No offense, but I've heard some pretty awful stories, and Valet proudly began to pace. And the moral of all of them is that I do what I want, aren't I? 
Either that or I'm some soulless specter who stops at nothing to haunt whoever I please. She flashed a faint smile. Well, right now I don't really care about that guy you just beamed either way and really want to see the look on your boss's face when he realizes I made him look bad by doing him a favor. Awful stories, Maple interrupted, brow shadowed with what might have been fake concern. Wait, really? I'm, I'm new to Iron Ridge. Filet gave her a flat look. And Flanks, is this really the best time for that? I'm getting you what you want here. Maple's ears folded, but the light in her eyes made it plain she didn't want to back down. I'm not really sure I should do anything to antagonize her, Green Wave said warily, taking a step back. I don't know who you are, but watch yourselves, okay? Never trust a bat. That's the rule of hoof in Iron Ridge. See, she guessed it, Valet said, suddenly standing so close to Grain Wave's side that they could have touched each other with their wings. The Pegasus noticed immediately, lowering her head and shying away. <laughs> Tar feather moaned on the ground. Whoa! Valet jumped, putting her attention back on him. Looks like he's coming too. What do you say we can the chit chat and get this guy to your illustrious leader? Maybe get him hauled away to Mr. Karma's place? That's where you're supposed to take these thieves, right? Green Wave stared back, uncomfortable. This is my first day helping. I've never actually seen us catch a thief before. Well, hey, perfect. Fully shrugged. Very the first time for everything, right? Now let's find a way to let your boss know about, um... Uh, hey, anyone have paper? Or just something to write with? Green Wave hesitated, looking at herself. She was completely free of clothes, saddlebags, or anywhere else to hold things, and shook her head. I don't either, Maple said, apologetic. Hmm. Valet rubbed her chin and her eyes fell on the bananas protruding from Tarfever's saddlebags. Then we're gonna have to improvise big time. End of chapter 179.